just when you were thinking I couldn't possibly serve you up something even more insane, I deliver the goods once again. Have I ever let you down? Do you have any regrets about taking your own vision or the process with which you, you did take your own vision? I don't have any regrets taking my vision. How did she take her own vision? By having a psychologist pour drain cleaner into her eyes. But hey, no judgement, right? She's just trying to become her true authentic self. I believe I should have been born blind and I'm happy the way I am. Look at that bigot. I do have some regrets about <clears throat> the way I did it. Should have used Mr. Muscle instead. I, with all due respect to Jewel, but I am having a really hard time sitting so close to someone who traumatized herself. We took an oath in medicine to help people. Okay, trans able folk. To hear someone say, I've, o I've always felt I should be blind. Well, I've always felt I should be the Queen of England, but I'm not going out to become the Queen of England. Wait a minute. Chopping someone's cock and balls off to help them realize their innate identity is progressive, virtuous, and loving. Even as it's killing teenage children. But chucking bleach into someone's eyes to help them achieve their innate identity is insane, dangerous, and offensive to disabled people. You can't have your cake and eat it. Fox News reports on the people choosing to identify as handicapped and how they want what has always been treated as a mental illness, BIID or Body Integrity Identity Disorder, accepted by society, rebranded and relabeled with a new more inclusive advocacy term. Transabled. So doctors will be allowed to treat BIID patients by amputating healthy limbs, snipping spinal cords or destroying eyesight. You know, all this kind of reminds me of something else. Can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe the transabled need their own flag, their own civil rights movement, their own celebrities funded by lucrative brand endorsement deals. Maybe a chap in a mobility scooter waxing lyrical about the plethora of new parking spaces available to him. Maybe children should be exposed to transableism at a very early age. Maybe people who've had healthy limbs removed should be invited into schools to give talks about how normal that is. Books placed in school libraries about how washing your face with Drain cleaner isn't dangerous or freakish at all. Primetime television programs where members of the transabled community stand naked in front of kids showing off their amputation stubs. Doctors doling out drugs that give kids who want it cerebral palsy infections. Forget gender affirming care. What about cripple affirming care? The Hippocratic Oath is basically just hate speech anyway. California should declare itself a transabled sanctuary state. Because again, all this needs to be normalized to fight transable phobia. And anyone who has a problem with that is almost certainly a Nazi. And there'll be plenty of them. But I bet that 59 year old bloke in Canada who identifies as a six year old girl will agree with me. Would you like that? Speaking of things which are almost too crazy to be true. Can you believe I'm 40 years old? Where did all the years go? A horrifying thought, but not quite as horrifying as if I actually looked 40 years old. I was getting my hair cut the other day and the guy said late 20s. I'll take it. You wanna know my secret? Well, it's not rocket science. It's called moisturising your face on a regular basis with a good product. Which brings me to Tej Hanley. No doubt, like me, you were constantly flipping between different skincare products. Different brands for different parts of your face. Well, simplify everything by using the Tej Hanley skincare system routine. Face wash in the morning. Wash. Really refreshing. Wakes up your face like a strong cup of coffee. Super serum. Boom. Locks in that good moisture. Eye cream. Wash. Totally smooth. Doesn't irritate. No sting whatsoever. AM moisturiser. Boom. Eliminates any tightness, dryness, and you get that SPF 20 layer of sun protection. Then repeat at night, but with the PM moisturizer Wash. to keep your skin hydrated as you sleep. Then exfoliate or scrub twice a week with the... Well, it's the scrub. Boom! Clears out all those clogged pores and dead skin cells. I've been using Tej Hanley for about three weeks now. And even in winter when your skin suffers the most, it's been a delight. For what I was paying for just one moisturizer, I get all this with Tej Hanley for the same price. And it does a better job. My skin looks and feels better than ever. Don't take my word for it. Go and read over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website. Uncomplicated skincare that's simple, affordable, and effective. Fragrance-free, made in the USA, never tested on animals, and peace of mind knowing that you're not 
not funding those big corporate brands that try to monopolise the industry. Get a monthly subscription, then you'll never have to worry about forgetting to order or running out. And by supporting my sponsors, you support your boy here. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring this video, if you click the link in the description below, you lucky devils get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. So don't miss out, click the link in the description. Now back to the video. Just like transgender identified people who refuse to get the snippy snip, some members of the transabled community are less committed than others. Chloe Jennings White spends her days confined to a wheelchair. It's tough to get around, and she struggles with living in a world that isn't built for the disabled. However, Chloe is actually able to walk perfectly and chooses to live her life like a paraplegic. 53-year-old Yorand Victoria Alme caused outrage for using a wheelchair almost all of the time, despite the fact that he has no physical handicap. Come on, mate, take it seriously. At least get a leg broken or something. Yorand's decision to identify as disabled was met with scorn. His decision to also identify as a woman, well, that's different, isn't it? How? Shut up, bigot. It's a cognitive dissonance, said Yorand. In the same way that I experienced being a woman in a man's body, I experienced that I should have been paralyzed from the waist down. Norway's TV2 News responded by confronting Jorund with genuinely disabled people who were angry at him, and those people are just the equivalent of what trans activists call TERFs trans-exclusionary radical feminists. So I guess they'd be trans-able exclusionary radical disabled. Turds! A Norwegian man just appeared in a UK court for having his own genitals, nipple and leg amputated. Marius Gustafsson live-streamed the castration of other men on his eunuch maker website for paying subscribers. He ended up making hundreds of thousands of pounds off of it. And you thought OnlyFans was degenerate. He and eight other men were part of a subculture of genital nullification in which men willingly have their genitals removed to become nullos. The Norwegian said he wanted to look like a Ken doll down there. Shave his beard off. He looks so nice. Chop his nuts off, he won't ask twice. Gustafsson said he used a castration tool called a Burdizo, normally used on cattle. <laughs> and that he carried out the procedures in a quote, very professional way. Dude's a professional, no need to worry. <laughs> Gustafsson was also charged with possessing CP. Wow, didn't see that one coming. In Japan, a 23-year-old man had his genitals removed and then cooked and served them to paying guests at a banquet. Mmm, tasty. Seasoned well with black pepper. <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to Coco Van, doesn't it? Sorry. I used to think all this was very unnatural, bizarre and dangerous to normalise. But then I realised I was just being prejudiced. And after a sustained and intensive period of re-education, I've changed my mind. Love is love. Transabled rights are human rights. Hashtag be kind. Now I'm off to put my knob in a blender so I can claim welfare. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.